Good morning, good morning. It's lovely to be with you this morning. I just wanted to come and uh, share the message that God's put on my heart with you today. Because um, it's just a lovely day out there and, you know, it's just wonderful to be able to, a blessing to be with you, as I say. And the message that God's put on my heart today is, um, I I've called it marching. I've called it marching. And uh, I'm going back to one of my little stories. I always like to t sometimes tell little stories because it leads into what um, God's put on my heart. And it was when I was in the girls' brigade uh, many years ago. I think I've already told you about this. Um, but we used to have to do the drill, a drill like with the marching of the colours. And the colours is like the flag. We'd have to make sure we had all of our, you know, our hat on. Um, you know, we had to put on our blazer, our, you know, our shirt, our tie, our, you know, black tights. All the shoes were polished. And we had, I had like a holster, a, a leather holster that used to go on my waist. And the flag used to actually go in that holster. And I used to have to hold on to part of the flag and we used to have to march um, and, and do the, you know, the, do the colour, do the drill, you know, march around with the colours. And we had to, um, the most important thing is we had to listen. We had to listen for the commands, right? We had to listen to what we were being told. And it was really hard because you had to listen to what you were being told and then do what was being asked of you. And if we didn't listen, um, <laughs> it got messed up. But the key thing was that we had to keep on marching. We had to keep on moving forward because that was part of the drill. And uh, once we'd completed the drill, we would be dismissed. And that was just coming to me quite a bit today as I was actually, um, you know, just sharing, just just coming on, going to come on live. God was really speaking to me. And what actually, um, you know, came to me was um, we need to keep marching and moving forward as God's people. We mustn't let anything stop us from going forward. You know, quite often we, we our river is flooded in Chelmsford along um, a walkway by the, um, you know, the, the river. It's a lovely walkway and it gets flooded. And so often when it's flooded, people say, oh, dear, 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 you know, what? Oh, we can't get through. So what do we have to do? We have to go find another way. We have to go around another way. We have to keep moving forward, keep going. God wants us to, to be able to just keep doing that and not to give up. And it's about like that sense of, of, of pressing forward, of going forward. You know, and, and we just need to hold on to the Lord as we do this. And I was just really encouraged uh, this, you know, this last couple of days as I as I was looking up some Bible passages, as I felt God was speaking this into my heart. And uh, the first one I've got is in Philippians uh, 3, 12 to 14. And it's pressing towards the goal, seeing Christ, Christ's likeness in our lives. So Philippians 3, 12 to 14, I'll read it out to you. So let's listen to this, what this, this lovely, this passage says to us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is this. Yeah. 12 to 14. Here we go. Pressing on towards the goal. Not that I have already obtained all of this or ha I have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of for me. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straying towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenwards in Christ. Well, that's a, a great scripture to, you know, to keep us moving, isn't it, today? So we need to, we need to, as we're, as we're moving forward and pressing on in the Lord, we need to come and do it in humility. We need to be like humble. You know, we haven't arrived. There's no point in being arrogant. We just need to be in humility and, 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 and say to the, you know, the Lord, Lord, I just need your help to keep moving forward. You know, I'm, I'm feeling weak or I'm, you know, I'm not, not finding this easy. If we come humbly to God, he can help us. And, and he's, he's discipling us. Part of discipleship is to keep moving forward. Um, and we should have that spiritual desire in us. You know, we want to keep going forward. We want to keep on marching. We don't want to stay where we are. That spiritual desire. If we haven't got that spiritual desire, well, then something must, mustn't be quite right. And maybe we should get some, some help with prayer. God wants us to keep moving forward. And if, if we are, if we need help, then people can support us and pray with us. Uh, you know, the Lord wants us to progress spiritually, but, you know, but we have to look straight forward. We have to look ahead. We mustn't be distracted. We've got to keep looking ahead. And it's like running the race. We're running a race. If you're running a race, you can't start looking around you. Sometimes I used to look over my shoulder to see if anyone was going to come up, if I was trying to get to first place. But we need to just keep running, running, running ahead. Look ahead. Don't look behind. God wants us to keep moving forward. And then I had another, another passage I was going to read out for you that really sort of struck me. And um, it was in Psalm 32, verse 8. Psalm 32, verse 8. 
and it says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. Well, so God wants to give us instructions. Part of the way we keep moving forward is by get, receiving God's instructions and, and, and doing what he's asking us to do. That's what this is talking about. He's our teacher and he will guide and direct us. He, he will counsel us. He will watch over us. There's no better person to go to than Jesus. There's no better person to go to than him and to his word. So that is a wonderful little, uh, to, a little verse today. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. What a, what a fantastic promise that is. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, and then I'm just going to go to the um, further back to um, in the Old Testament. I'm going to go back to Exodus 14, Exodus 14, 15 and 16. This is this is a good one too. Exodus 14, 15 and 16. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move forward. Raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is, that is, uh, that is you know, that, that is an amazing, amazing couple of verses there. You know, God wants us to have spiritual progress. And, and as I was looking at that, then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? It's almost like saying, look, why are you, you know, why are you doing this? You know, go on, move forward. I, I've told you what to do. Move forward. Do what I'm asking you to do. And as Moses did what, what the Lord asked him to do, the Red Sea was parted and they were able to go through. Even if we feel weak in our flesh and in our strength, God has, can, can give us the power that we need to keep moving forward. And, and look at what happened. Uh, you know, when the Red Sea was parted, look at what happened. God is just amazing in what he can say and do in our lives. If only we would just um, see it in his in his eyes and in his power and in his name and not in our own flesh, because sometimes our flesh gets in the way and it pulls us back and it holds us back. So let's keep moving forward in the Lord uh, today and in the days and, and weeks ahead to come. And then there's just one other um, Bible passage I've got uh, this morning for you. And I'm going to go back to the... Um, to the book of Hebrews, Hebrews, this is a, a lovely one too, an encouraging one, Hebrews 12, 1, Hebrews 12, 1, where it says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders the sin that so easily entangles us, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. So Christ is our inspiring example. He wants us to follow his example. He's exhorting us. He's saying, look, come on, come on. You know, keep running. Don't stop. Don't stop. If anyone feels like stopping today, don't stop. Keep running with Jesus because Jesus has a hold of your hand. He is with you. And, and we are praying. If you need prayer, we will pray for you. Just let us know. But God, the Lord is exhorting us. He's exhorting us, he's exhorting us to just turn our back on sin and he's exhorting us to persevere and to keep running the race and we will progress spiritually. He has given us his example, he has given us faith, he has given us his power, he's broken the power over sin, over sickness, over death, over hell by his death on the cross and he wants us to be free, he wants us to move on in all, all of the power that he has given us. The problem is sometimes we don't know, um, it's like unlocking different rooms, we don't know about God's complete power because sometimes we need to sort of step forward and move forward more and, and reach out to him more and he will open more and do more. So I'm getting a bit excited today because God's really... Um, I feel his spirit's really like stirring me up today to share this message. So the Lord wants us to follow him. He wants us to keep moving forward. And just finally, a few, a few things that, we, that will help us as we do this. One of the things is obedience. And I think I was talking about this. Sometimes when I speak, things intertwine a bit, but that's okay. Maybe God wants us to hear them more than once. But part of it is obedience. You know, if somebody, if God is saying something, we need to obey what he's saying do. And if we obey what he's saying, do he will bless us. It doesn't matter if we if we might think, oh, I can't do that. I'm not, you know, maybe I shouldn't be doing this, and oh, I, you know, I'm a bit nervous about it. Look, I I I stutter. I keep telling you about my stuttering, but it's not going to stop me from doing what God has told me to do. I want to obey him. Let's obey God if he's asking us to do something. And as we obey him, this will keep us marching. This will keep us moving forward. And another thing that we need to do is we need to listen. We need to listen because the Lord wants to keep us safe. 
if if we don't listen, how can we keep safe? If if um, a child is going to go across the road, you will say to the child, "Look, hang on a minute, wait, wait till it's safe, wait till it's clear to go across, and then the child will go across the road." We need to listen. We need to keep keep safe, and we need to protect ourselves. That's another thing. Put on the armor of God. Protect ourselves. If we know we're going to go into a situation where it's going to cause us um, to stumble or to sin, or it's going to cause us to be hurt, or it's going to cause us pain. And we're not we're going into a place that isn't the right place or we're doing something that isn't the right thing. Then don't do it. Ask God to protect you. Let God protect you because he does want to protect you. The Lord is our shepherd and he will look after us and keep us safe. But we need to keep close to him. And the other thing that I felt as we keep moving forward and marching, I've already said this a bit in one of the, the passages. We need to keep looking straight ahead. We need to keep looking straight ahead. Otherwise, marching is affected. When we used to go out with our, our band, um, you know, our band parade, I used to play the big bass drum. And we were told by the officers, keep looking ahead, keep looking ahead, because people will be calling out to us, hello, and making lots of noise, and dogs would come up and try and, like, bite, bite, bite my leg. They didn't like the bass drum. But we kept on looking ahead, because if we didn't keep looking ahead, we would have got out of time with the instruments, and it would have affected the whole of the parade. So we need to keep keep looking ahead, keep looking straight ahead. Um, be confident, be confident in Jesus. Be confident in Jesus today. We can march and we can walk holding our heads up high because we're the children of God, right? God wants to give us confidence and boldness. So as we, as we walk forward today, we can hold our heads up high knowing that as we focus on the Almighty, the great Saviour, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, He will keep us, He will protect us, He will help us, and we will keep marching forward. You know, and that, uh, there's that little song, I'm not going to sing it this morning, but we are marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God. We are moving in the power of God. We are moving in the power of God. We are living in the love of God. You know, so let's remember the words of that song. And let's keep rem remembering that we're, we're the soldiers of, of the army of salvation, that God is raising up to save the world. And we won't lay down our arms until every nation is bowed on bended knees before the Lord. So we put our trust in Jesus. He will never fail us. We know his salvation we shall see. He's, we shall see. It's not a violent revolution, but a mighty revelation that peace can only come through Calvary. Hallelujah. Lord, I do just want to pray this morning. I want to thank you, Father God, that we can be overcomers in you. Lord, you want us to keep moving forward in your power, in your name, in your strength. We won't lay down our arms. We won't be hindered. We will not be held back despite of all what's happening around us. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest name, but only trust in Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, and all other ground is sinking sand. We stand on you, Christ, you're our solid rock, and we have faith and confidence in you. We lift up our eyes to you, we focus on you today. Lord, just move us forward in all that you want us to do in our lives, and in your name and in your power. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your power. We thank you for the intimate relationship that we have with you. We thank you that you are from everlasting to everlasting. And we will never cease to praise you, Lord. Thank you for what you're going to do, Lord, in our lives. We will never cease to praise you. We love you so much. And we give you praise and glory for who you are and for what you're going to do in our lives, for what you're going to do in our families, for what you're going to do in our churches, and for what you're going to do in our nations. Uh, because we pray big prayers because you're a great and mighty God. Hallelujah. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. It's been great being with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I can see a lot of uh, thumbs going up and love hearts. Thank you for sending them. And thank you for being on, on uh, live with me today. I'm sending you lots of love and um, pray for God that God will bless you. I'll be on again tomorrow at 10 o'clock and I'll post this out for you. If you want to watch it again, I know anyone else that wants to watch it. But thank you for joining me. And I, I love you all lots, sending you lots of love. Remember, if you do need any prayers or anything, just, you know, contact us. We'd love to pray with you. We'd love to support you. We would love to help you if we can. I was helping a couple of people yesterday. So we just love you lots. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye now. Bye.